we'll be diving into four awesome applications that I use and recommend. First up, Varia Download Manager. It's a brand new open source download manager for Linux built on the powerful Area 2. The user interface, crafted with GTK4 and Libidweta, fits right in with modern GTK apps on Ubuntu. But the big question is, do we still need dedicated download managers in 2023? Absolutely. Picture this. You're downloading a massive file over an unreliable internet connection, and your computer decides to take a nap mid-transfer. This is where Varia shines. I put it to the test by intentionally shutting down my PC during a download, and Varia effortlessly resumed the download when I logged back in. Sure, web browsers have their download management features, but dedicated tools like Varia are more reliable, especially with Area 2 powering the backend. Now let's talk about Cartridge's Game Launcher, another gem in the Linux gaming scene. With a user-friendly design, Cartridge's aims to unify game libraries from different launchers, making it a great choice for beginners. Developed in Python, Cartridge's offers a rich set of features. You can manually add and edit games, import games from various launchers like Lutris, Heroic, Bottles, and Steam, and automatically detect your Steam library at multiple locations. The ability to download covers from Steam Grid DB adds a touch of beauty to your game collection. For gamers who like customization, Cartridges supports animated covers, searching for games in various databases, and basic features like searching, sorting, and hiding games. While it may not have all the bells and whistles of other game launchers, its simplicity and functionality make it a promising addition to the Linux gaming ecosystem. Shifting gears, let's look at Blue Recorder, a Linux screencast app ported to GTK4. While Genome Shell has its built-in screen recording feature, Blue Recorder steps in for longer sessions and greater control over recording parameters. Blue Recorder, a Rust-based rewrite of Green Recorder, boasts a GTK4 rewrite of the entire user interface, offering a minor visual refresh. It supports recording audio and video under Wayland on Genome or KDE, saving recordings in various formats, selecting audio input sources, and more. Last but certainly not least, let's explore Foliot eBook Reader's major update to version 3. Rewritten from scratch with GTK4, and at Weta, Foliot aims to be one of the best ebook readers for Linux. The overhaul brings significant improvements, including a unified window for the library and ebook viewer, reducing startup time and memory usage. In paginated mode, you now get more than two columns, depending on the window width, and new gestures for touchscreen and touchpad users. The library loading is now triggered on scroll, and there's a new sidebar for bookmarks, table of contents, annotations, and find in page results. Copying text from ebooks gets a makeover with new options, including copying with HTML formatting, adding citations, and copying identifiers. The update also adopts Speech Dispatcher for text to speech, adds timestamps to annotations, allows printing of chapters and selections, and even experiments with PDF file support. Whether you're managing downloads with Varia, organizing your game library with cartridges, recording your screen with Blue Recorder, or delving into ebooks with Foliate, there's something for everyone. These applications not only enhance functionality, but also contribute to the vibrant and diverse Linux ecosystem. Give them a try and level up your Linux experience. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one.